our university president, Dr. Anita C. Alcoy, to our different vice president of the university, vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Susan O. Tanner, vice president for administration and finance, Dr. Mia Ficario, vice president for research development and extension, Dr. Alfred Dinet, vice president for external affairs and languages, Dr. Marianne B. Martellino, to our commencement speaker, Governor Province of Campus, Honorable Frederick H. Castro, to our supportive campus administrator, Dr. Richard B. Martellino, to our deans of different colleges, for the College of Education, Dr. Rolo M. Lagan, for the College of Management, Dr. Rossini O. Lavado, for the College of Agriculture and Forestry, Dr. Ryan D. Serimo, the Chair of Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and High Systems Engineering, Engineer Wally L. Alaroso, to key officials, to our team, faculty and staff, graduates, parents, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Education is a journey filled with challenges, sacrifices, and dedication. It is a journey that demands perseverance and unwavering commitment to personal growth and excellence. I am aware that because of the pandemic, we have faced numerous obstacles in both our personal and academic lives. However, as you can see, we have grown and shown great resilience. We gained new knowledge, expanded our horizons, and showed that we could learn while continuing to thrive amid changing circumstances. Now, after a long period of waiting, we are here to show how we overcome every hurdle just to get here. After 16 years, more or less, of stability and surviving life, our harvest season has finally arrived. Let's acknowledge the sacrifices made, the countless hours invested, and the persistent desire for knowledge. Today is a day of great joy and celebration as we gather here to mark our graduation. I stand before you with heartfelt, with overflowing gratitude. This is a momentous occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifices, and the declaration of our commitment and effort in this university, the Kappa State University Korea's campus. Being born in a family with a simple life and a stable finances gives me the motivation to keep striving and pursuing my goals in life. My Nanai is a high school graduate and my Tata is a village great team. This can go to the top of the community We never use those as excuses not to get and sustain our needs. Nakita ko din kung paano magbutaw ang kapulaw akong kinikaya para mas pila na kami yung kapit ko Biscay na gama na sa kapit ng ilalim na ikaboy na ito sa pagkubra But my father is still doing his best and I can vividly remember my neighbor friend told me, telling me that mas hindi ka maging successful someday kaya si nanay mo nagapanglaba lang sa awal at sa atay mo driver lang are still in my mind. Yes, it really hurt to was discouraging. But those words give me the eagerness to prove that someday I will reach all my goals in life. And I will become a successful person. Those experiences lifted my spirit to do my best, to be about all the sacrifices that my parents have made for us. And I'm proud to say that night Thanks to the hard work and dedication of my parents. And 
entering my college years, I tried to take entrance examination at different universities outside our province without the permission of my parents because I wanted to explore and go beyond my comfort zone. Yet, and luckily for me, my parents disagreed with my decisions. And they wanted me to stay by their side and pursue my college near our place. But I was still hard-headed. I tried applying again at Cabe State University main campus. But during examination day, I forgot my examination slip. And that slip is was the key so that I could pop up, proceed to my examination venue. That day, I realized that God has a better plan for me. And that he wanted me to follow my parents' decision. That is why, without any regret or hesitation, I dropped the entrance examination at this university. In God's grace, I passed the said examination, the teacher actually test for those who want to pursue education as their course. I survived the interview, and during the enrollment day, I told myself that Kapso Burias was really the state for me. For four years of studying here in this university, I always feel that I am at home. It is indeed true that as students, Kapso Burias is our home away from home, where we can find another family who will nourish us and will make us grow as better individuals. I am grateful that God brought me here because I am filled with huge appreciation for education, personal growth, and lifelong connection that this esteemed institution has provided me. The unwavering support, mentorship, and willingness to go the extra miles have shaped our educational experience in profound ways, especially during the pandemic. Despite the challenges it brought, our teachers that show a sign of giving up. They are always striving, struggling hard just to ensure that we students will be given better education. The years on this campus are truly an amazing life opportunity because we have learned how to live independently, which has helped us become the right and worthy individuals we are today. Personally, this university molded me, harnessed my capabilities, helped me to know my strengths and weaknesses, helped me to know myself better, and gave me the chance to show off my skills and talents. It was challenging enough that there were, there were instances when I got frustrated. Everything was there. There was nights, stress, depression, and even disappointment. But those were brief emotions brought by too much study, overthinking, and not getting enough sleep. It was difficult to pursue school, and there were many times when I considered giving up as a solution. But those were just my thoughts. I can imagine my life without those precious, precious experiences obtained from the college years. I would not be able to reach this far and I would not possess such character traits as perseverance, self-confidence, purposefulness, and dedication. I can say that without any uncertainty that my college experience contributed to the personal person I am now. I can't imagine that I am here, standing in front of you, delivering a speech of gratitude. On behalf of the graduates, because this is just my dream. And now, I am living proof that there is no harm in dreaming and believing. As Elmer Russell said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So dream big, believe in yourself and your dreams and take action to bring them to fulfillment. Embrace the power of dreaming and believing and let them guide you on your journey to personal fulfillment and achievement. I am honored to stand before you today on this momentous occasion. It is a pleasure to be able to speak to you all and to offer our sincere appreciation for those who have made significant contribution to our journey and have made it possible. First of all, I would like to thank God for all the graces He showered upon us 
and for all the guidance, strength, and answering prayers. He's always with us through ups and downs. And without Him, we would not have reached this far. All the glory and praise belong to Him. It's not about us, it's God who strengthened us. To our families, friends, and loved ones who have been our unwavering pillars of support to your own challenging yet rewarding educational journey. Your love, encouraging, encouragement, and sacrifices have been the foundation of our success. You have believed in us even during our moments of self-doubt and unwavering support has guided us through every step of the way. Thank you for accepting us for who we are, for embracing our flaws, and for standing by our side through the high and lows of our life. Your love has given us the courage to dream, the strength to persevere, and the belief that anything is possible. Your love has filled our hearts with immeasurable joy, and we are grateful for the privilege of leaving you by our side. Today, we start here not only as graduates, but also a testament to your love and dedication. To the esteemed faculty and staff of this institution, you have dedicated, who have dedicated their time, expertise, and passion to nurture our mind. We express our profoundest gratitude and appreciation to all of you, math answers. You challenge us to reach now beyond our perceived limits. You inspire us in critically. Challenge us to go to reach beyond our perceived limits and impart the knowledge that will serve as, as the foundation for our future endeavors. Your commitment to our growth and unwavering belief in our potential have had a huge impact in our lives. We will forever cherish the lessons we have learned under your guidance and the valuable wisdom you have imparted to us. Also, I want to thank the administration and our working employees who have worked tirelessly to make sure that our educational experiences have been nothing less than extraordinary. Your efforts from setting up activities to handling every aspect of our academic journey have been crucial in pursuing an atmosphere that is conducive to learning and personal growth. Your dedication often goes unnoticed, but we recognize and appreciate the effort you have put into making our educational journey a memorable one. To my fellow graduates, congratulations on reaching the significant milestone in our lives. We, through countless late nights spending, face numerous challenges, challenges, and yet we here stand stronger and wiser. Our, our collective perseverance and support for one another have been instrumental in overcoming the obstacles along the way. I am grateful for the friendship we have formed, the laughter we have shared, and the memories we have created. As we embark on the next chapter of lives, let us carry these bonds with us and continue to support and inspire one another to reach greater heights. Tomorrow, we face a new day and a new life and start our new journey not as a student, but as an employed citizen. But as Grammy Award winning Taylor Swift said, the scary news is you are your own now. But the cool news is, you are your own now. So go out of your comfort zone and make your mark in this world. Embrace the opportunities that will come to your way. Take risks and never give up. Chase your dreams courteously. You have the power to shape your own destiny. Dream big, set your goals, and believe in yourself. Remember, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Congratulations, March 2023. As we leave the four walls of our love matter, I want you to take with you a sense of pride, a sense of purpose, and a sense of possibility. The world awaits our unique talents, contributions, and perspectives. Let go out and shine brightly and show everyone what Batch 2020 can offer to the world. Soar high, Batch 2023, and march on, come to the end. May God bless our great success. Thank you so much, and once again, congratulations, Batch 2020.